I know you're gonna dig this. Dre Racing, and once again, it is a Friday night of a uh, racing weekend. So we're about to get the car loaded up here pretty soon, but uh, real quick, I kind of wanted to talk about what we learned from our testing tune. As you guys saw in that video, uh, we made strides beyond belief. Uh, up to this point in the air, our best 60 foot was 163. Maybe we touched the 60, high 62 once, but but it was inconsistent. We'd go 63, 66, 64. Uh, it, it just wasn't great. Um, but we added the jet extensions and we uh, lopped off the exhaust. I don't, I don't know if that had a whole lot to do with it, but I feel like maybe we picked up some power on the top end that we couldn't really see uh, during our test tube because it was a massive headwind. But what we really saw was in the 60 foot um which i which we think is all due to the jet extensions we had uh one fit we went uh i think it was just beginning of the day i think we had a 163 or something but then we went to 158 157 and then spinning the the track was marked at that point a bunch of stuff everywhere to a 159 which last year at the best, well prepped, um, you know, very good weather. We we're making some horsepower. Uh, we had like a 61. So we are already miles beyond what we were last year. And I think it all due to the jet extensions. Um, I rolled some clips of earlier in the year when watching that tack, it, it, it flashed like 45, and you'd see. A, on the extreme cases go all the way back to 39 and then come back up a lot of times more like 4,000 4,100 but now it it doesn't uh dive back it just like flashes holds maybe half a second and then it's just pulling right away so with that happening even with the strong headwind uh we had a record eighth mile pass uh once again the mile an hour wasn't there and the weather was terrible yeah, we were going faster than what we were last year with, what was it like under a thousand foot DA or? Is that... Right, when we, we had our record pass, we were under a thousand foot. We were 3,300 foot last week. Yeah, it was, it was terrible. 17 mile an hour headwind and we were in a record uh, eighth mile pass, record 60 foot. Um, and I think I had, no, I didn't lose my, and at the top end of the track, the last pass, I went 111 miles an hour, which most of the year was about 110, um, with that 17 mile an hour headwind. So that's where I'm thinking the, the exhaust, uh, or setup now, is really contributing to the setup, is at that top end. I think the engine's able to breathe a little bit more. I don't think it's doing as much in the 60 foot, but I guess uh, we need some no wind or, you know, not as severe when to really test out the exhaust and see if that was really a contributing factor, but it really helps for the fact that it sounds really good too. <laughs> <laughs> so what the we what's the weather gonna do this weekend? Hot. I think high 94 on Saturday and 96 on Sunday. Don't rain, but uh, definitely have the fans on the car and uh, it'll really put it to the test, but hopefully being the hot, <laughs> kill the humidity. Yeah, and hopefully we don't have the wind. Yeah, that's... I mean, right. a breeze would be nice, but <laughs> let's not have that wind. Right. So, yeah, overall, um, we learned that jet extensions were the answer all along. We, after, couldn't figure out where all our... <laughs> $40 parts. <laughs> after, fi couldn't figure out all year where our 60-foot winds, after we added the roll bar, if anything, yeah, the roll bar probably helped the launch, and it was making... Um, us lose fuel at the jets more severely than what we were last year theory um and i think the exhaust helped on the top end so overall a uh, good session out and well worth the trip all right well with that you're gonna show some clips and 
we need to pack this thing up and get loaded up for tomorrow. Yeah, so uh, first clip is uh, before jet extensions, second clip is after jet extensions. So. guys with that and uh, like the video subscribe we'll see you in the next one